Jane Fisher. I'm an artist in the Cotswolds and I have a fabulous studio in the attic at Griffin Mill above Pegasus Art, which I co-founded many years ago. For years I concentrated on underwater swimmers, then cyclists, and I'll go back to things. And now I'm doing big landscapes, well, coastal, coastal scenes. I'll do sketches, I'll take photographs. Sketches I find more useful, but photographs set the scene, so they're an aid memoir. I'll come back and then I'll work out um, in drawings the shapes and so bring it down, minimalise it and then start drawing it up in oil, thin oil. I'm conscious that in this one you're not meant to cut canvases in half with a horizon but I, I have on this pretty well. I've given myself a hard task to make this work but I wanted the big sky and I want coastal seem to be going right back. I do simplify the palette. I'm looking for a tonal range. I don't know how other people work, which is partly why I do all this sampling, because then I'm putting together the values um, and be they sort of dark or light, um, sort of tonally. If I can reduce it to just a few colors and mix from those, then the whole painting tends to come together more successfully. I love using sort of the muted colour, earth colours, charcoals. Um, and then I will choose a bright colour to bring it everything to life. But ultimately make the decision to keep the colours um, tonally simplified. Again, it goes back to using better quality artist paints because the colours then I start to mix from those are more successful. They, they don't go muddy, they look fresher and I don't have to put too many um, additives into them. You know, if you start using Demo Varnish based medium, um, you get a shine on the work and you'd really only want that at the end of the day once you've made the decisions about the tonal qualities to start with. I do like bright colours. It's more unusual doing a landscape, so I, I, I tend to relate to very bright colours. English landscape colours are less than that. It's probably why I revert back to my underwater swimmers every now and again, because they uh, are so bright. And I love it. Once you fully go into a painting, you can just lose yourself. You forget that you're painting. It's just coming naturally. The colours are flowing, the mixing's flowing. Sometimes it's only half an hour of your whole day painting that is actually working and at other times you can go longer and that's ultimately I think why painters are painters.